Hello and uh, welcome to this week in releases coming out for the week of March 9th, 2009. We're going to be covering all of the games releasing this week. So let's start off with uh, Nintendo. Nintendo has uh, Wii Play, which is basically all the GameCube classics are coming back in with new control mechanics. So one of them is releasing this week is Pikmin where you play as a captain who is stranded on an unknown planet and has to use these Pikmin to basically salvage parts to rebuild that spaceship because apparently this planet does not support oxygen of any kind so yeah you're under time limit I'm Zach, along with Pikmin this week for the Wii Play controls of our classic GameCube games, is Mario Power Tennis, where you can turn Mario into the next Maria Sharpova, whoever that is, I just looked up on Google. Yes, it will feature the new kind of Wii Sports-like hand motions for um, tennis, and will be playable this week. Hopefully plays the same as Wii Sports Tennis. Back to you, Will. Alright, so let's look at the Xbox Live Arcade releases for this Wednesday. Uh, we have Square Enix's Crystal Defenders, which is, if you're into tower defense games, you'll be able to check this out, which is basically their own version of a tower defense game with Final Fantasy characters. So basically, the whole concept revolves around you placing units on a map to defend against waves of enemies. With the twist being that you play as characters from Final Fantasy and that you're defending your base from people who are trying to steal your crystal, which is, of course, a central theme in Final Fantasy games. So, yeah, if you like that, anything what Square Enix does, or you're dying to play more tower defense games, then check that out. Back to you. Thanks, Will. Great job on Crystal Defenders there, Will. Now, as for the Xbox Live Arcade releases, we also have Peggle. Peggle is the probably greatest casual game ever. Goal is to take out colored pegs before you run out of shots, of course. Has epic finishers, and Andy Jackson has been trying to get me to play it and download it. In fact, he's been trying to get me to buy the PC version, which apparently PC gamers, they exist, have been playing for years. Over 50 single player and 75 challenge mode with the addition of multiplayer modes every Xbox Live. Duel with your friends to see who can score the most points or have a four player peggle party. Leaderboard function included. And in other news, Mad World coming out for the Wii. Game by not Suda51 Will, but Platinum Games, the spin off from Capcom that joined Sega in an attempt to actually make Sega kick ass again. Mad World is basically an Unreal Tournament but more, uh, more ridiculous. You get to compete in a competition where you're awarded for how gruesome your kills are. This game encourages the player to think creatively and dismembering enemies more than Dead Space or Gears War could ever imagine. Cliff Blazinski's jaw is still dropping. Weapons, objects, and environmental are all at your disposal. Hilarious commentary from JR and good old King. Epic boss battles, black and white art style that even make No More Heroes look... Less artsy, I guess. And pick it up if you've been waiting for a good Wii game since we all know since Mario Galaxy and Metroid Prime 3, there have been none. Back to you, Will. Alright, so the biggest release for this week has to be the release of Capcom's Resident Evil 5 coming on Friday, March 13th. It is going to bring back, like, all the control schemes you loved from Resident Evil 4, or all the good parts of it. Bring it back to number 5, set in an Africa setting where you investigate the actions of a pharmaceutical company which has relations and ties back to the Umbrella Corporation and that's certainly a central plot of the Resident Evil series. You get a new sidekick which is actually a hot African chick. Shava. Not and British. Go on. Re returning player Chris Redfield from the past Resident Evil titles is coming back in search of Wesker, a returning villain from the Re Resident Evil series, and he's and Chris is going to investigate the origins of the T virus. Apparently, it comes from Africa. Hmm. So it's going to tie up like pretty much all the plots and loose ends from the previous games. If you're dying to not like the single player, 
I might suggest playing the online co-op, which is a new feature for the Resident Evil series. And, well, pick it up if you're a fan of the Resident Evil series, a fan of survival horror action games, or a fan of good games in general. Wow, well, wait, are you saying that Resident Evil 5 may actually make Resident Evil 4 make sense? It actually might. We might know the origins of the chainsaw people. Wow, that that's something I can't even imagine Miyamoto himself pulling off. Alright, so that ends up for this week and releases from March 9, 2009. We'll see you next week on MonsterVine.com.